Hello and welcome back to our tutorial on servicing ZSK embroidery machines. I am Sergey from ZSK Germany and today we will walk through adjusting bobbin changer and troubleshoot the common issues related to it. Let's start. For this task you will require the following tools. 10mm and 13mm open end wrenches, 4mm and 5mm allen keys and wide releasable cable tie. Go to T8 control, press L3 for service, R2 for test machine attachments, then with arrow keys select bobbin changer and press start testing. With each press of start button you can grab or release the bobbin case. The stop button moves the bobbin case carriage from the magazine to the hook and back. The back stitching button rotates the magazine but only if the carriage had been moved to the hook. The additional remote control will allow you to access the start, stop, back stitching and jogging buttons while away from the T8. If the bobbin case can't be fully inserted into the rotary hook, the bobbin changer position may need adjustment. Cut off the air supply. Remove the bobbin case from the hook if there were any. Grab the bobbin case with the carriage finger and loop a cable tie around it, preventing it from opening during adjustment. Now you can move the carriage with the bobbin case and adjust correct position of the bobbin changer. For side to side adjustment, loosen the contour nut with 10 mm open end wrench. and then loosen the contour screw. With 13 mm open end wrench, loosen two bolts between the table and the aluminum beam where the bobbin changer is attached. <laughs> to allow side to side movement. After adjusting the correct position, tighten the two bolts first. Then manually engage the contour screw with the aluminum beam and tighten the contour nut. For height or angle adjustment, please loosen screws with 5mm allen keys which are at the left hand side of the bobbin changer behind the beam. Bring the carriage's bobbin case inside the rotary hook. And adjust the height and angle of the bobbin changer. Slightly tilt the bobbin changer to the left side to ensure smooth insertion of the bobbin case to the rotary hook. After adjusting, secure the screws test the smooth movement of the bobbin case test the smooth insertion of the bobbin case several times. If adjusted correctly release the cable tie. Turn on the air supply and test the bobbin changer from the test machine attachments menu. Then run your machine as usual. If the bobbin number on the magazine under one head doesn't correspond to the number under another head, you might need to adjust it. Cut off the air supply. Manually move carriage away from the magazine. From the left hand side of the bobbin changer, locate the cylinder that controls the magazine rotation. Press and pull transport slider several times until you reach the corresponding bobbin number. Remove the bobbin case from the magazine pin under the carriage's default position if there is another bobbin case inserted in the rotary hook. 
and place it on the empty pin. Turn the air supply back on and operate as usual. Turn on the air supply. If the bobbin magazine location is misaligned, you will need to adjust it. Cut off the air supply. From the left hand side of the bobbin changer, find coupling ring with two screws. Push and pull the transportation slide until you can see one of the screws on top of the coupling ring. With the four millimeter Allen key, loosen that screw and then the other screw. When the coupling ring is completely disengaged from the shaft, you can freely rotate the magazine and align its position. Manually check if the carriage can grab the bobbin case and bring it back in. If satisfied, tighten both set screws. Turn on the air supply and test the bobbin changer in the test machine attachment. If everything is correct, exit to the main menu and operating machine as usual. Go to the T8 control panel and press L2 for machine setup, then L4 for bobbin changer V2. Use the arrow buttons to select the needles shown at the left of the screen. Press L8 to confirm and exit the menu. Then exit from machine setup and run your machine normally. We hope this video was helpful to you. And if you require any additional assistance, please reach out to your local agency, whose contact details you can find on the ZSK website. Below this video, you'll find links to purchase parts and tools used in this demonstration. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.